All right, so Dustin, we're here at a residential home looking at a double hung window. Yes, sir. Now, this is referred to as a double hung window because both the bottom sash and the top sash both move, right? Correct. Yep. So if this was a single hung window, bottom would go up, top would stay stationary. Okay. A window actually has features, right? It does, for sure. So this one, the bottom sash locks. Correct. So for security purposes, if you're on the bottom floor, you want to make sure that's locked while you're sleeping. Right. Um, it also has another safety feature built in. These little latches right here, they keep the window from opening more than about three inches. Um, and that's really great if you have kids, right? right. It's, yeah. also, it's also a nice thing to have open uh, if you want to have your windows open during the day and you yeah. don't want somebody potentially yeah, raising the window. Coming really in. nice breeze coming Absolutely. through Absolutely. So what else? Um, are we not seeing right away about this window? So this is considered a tilt sash on your bottom unit. So you can actually pull these two pins and open this up. It doesn't seem like a very functional thing, but have you ever cleaned the outside yeah, of your windows? For cleaning purposes, this makes it so much easier. Absolutely. And also makes it easier for us from a glazing standpoint, because this makes life on the replacement insulated unit side a whole lot easier. You can actually remove this whole piece right here, can't you? For sure. Yep. So you just pop it right out. Sure. And then so for replacing this glass here, if you actually had to just replace the pane itself, would you just take this frame apart? Actually, this has got a stop system on it. So this is this vinyl stop right here comes off mm -hmm. and then we cut the piece of glass out of the frame. Okay. Comes out face. Mm -hmm. It's new silicone work, new piece in. And these uh, aesthetic stops cover the edge of the unit. So it goes all right back together. All right, so if somebody actually needed to replace the entire unit instead of just replacing the glass panel by itself, uh, what does that process typically look like? So there's a couple of options. Uh, you can order a replacement window that doesn't have a nail fin on it. So what that means is it doesn't have a flange that shoots to the outside of the house because that's how the original windows go in. So we'll essentially collapse the old frame, cut it out, and this new frame will slide into the sheetrock. And then we attach it from the interior, shoot it in, and then we caulk the exterior. It sounds cut and dry. It's not always quite that easy. <laughs> well, it sounds complicated to me. So, I mean, obviously this is definitely something that we should leave to a professional. This is not a DIY project. Absolutely not. Yeah.